welcome to Yogaya. I'm Antonia and we will go through an immunity boosting routine today. We shot one a while ago on our channel and it was a little bit too complicated so this one will be simpler and most importantly we'll do some binds that are really connecting to trigger points in the body that help uh, speed the recovery so that will be a lot of fun. And let's start in a kneeling position, what we call camel pose stands. So press the tops of the feet firmly into the mat, knees under the hips, shoulders over the hips. So stack the joints up. Crisscross your left hand over the right, bring your hands, hug them under the armpits, and then bring the thumbs together and press the thumbs into your sternum. So we are boosting the thymus gland, enhancing the power there. We're going to lift our elbows up, press into the thymus gland, inhale, exhale, scoop the belly in just a little bit, drop the elbows down, inhale, Exhale, contract your belly two more times, activating the thymus gland. Exhale, also stimulating the lymphatic system and our body's natural fending mechanism. One last time, drop the hips to the heels. Lower the elbows down. Keep on pressing into this point. Arch your spine. Inhale and exhale. Try to drop your forehead into the floor and inhale one more time. Make sure your elbows are not pressing too hard into the floor. So lift your belly. Exhale. Stay here. Let go of the bind. Bring the hands to the floor. Bring one fist on top of the other and massage your third eye, shifting back and forth. Keep the breath fluid. Massaging the third eye. And now press the hands into the floor. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sternum all the way down, dipping into a chaturanga. Curl the back, feet under. Inhale, baby cobra only. Exhale to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra only. Curl the toes under. Exhale. Walk the hands in. Drop the right elbow down. Extend your left leg all the way back and up and gaze at your heel. Inhale, lift. Exhale, move the knee towards the elbow, contract. It should be very comfortable. Inhale, lift, shoulders down, exhale, contract. And now extend the leg over to the side, drop the heel down, flex the foot. And once you have that, you're going to hug the shoulder under the armpit and turn your gaze over to the right. Breathe here. Inhale. And exhale, twist a little bit more. Lengthen the spine. And another deep twist. Maybe you drop down through the elbow. And one last breath. Now inhale, lift off your wrist and take a twist. Reach the left arm all the way up. Inhaling and exhaling, right shoulder away from the ear. Inhale, as you exhale, bring your left foot forward into a low lunge. Square the hips. Left elbow into the right elbow crease. Hold your thumb. This is our Tylenol bind. 
it activates that trigger point around the thumb that's so healing. It's like taking Tylenol, but with the body pressing and triggering the points. Curl the back foot under, lift up and point your fingertips down, bend the knee, inhale, exhale, gently inhale, Stay here. Now press the thumb into your chin and open the thymus gland again. Good. Drop the heel down. Lift up. Open your throat. Bend the front knee. Warrior one here. And let go of the bind. Take a hug, twist it out, interlace opposite elbows and gaze back. Your front knee is bent as if you're doing warrior two. The heel rotates externally out, the hip opens up. Now hinge at the crease of your hip, lower the left hand down and bring the right hand to the left pocket. And then press the hands together, dropping the elbow down, opening the shoulders. We're going here or all the way down if we feel like it. Inhale, connect to the left kidney. Exhale, go a little bit more. Inhale, lift and exhale. Step your right foot forward to the left heel. Take this baby triangle and deepen it now. Left hand down, right arm up. In and out. Flex the left foot more. Exhale, right hand floats down. Drop the right knee first. Untuck the back foot. Sit your hips into your right heel and extend your left leg forward. Gently tip to the left and make a little more room with your right leg so that you start to drop the sit bone down. Right? Do this action with your hand and then forward. Just a little lean. Inhale and exhale. Lengthen the spine. With your right hand, yogic toe lock or wrap your index and middle finger around the big toe. Point the foot and feel that little stretch. And for a moment, grab your right elbow and drop your left elbow down. Stretch your spine. And exhale, we're activating the trigger points in the body. Now bring the left foot over the right thigh, flex it. Twist to the right. Take your left elbow with the right hand and drop the elbow into the crease of the right and twist here. Breathe. Lengthen the spine. Take one more breath. Exhale. Now take your eagle bind from the beginning and contract right in the middle. Your left knee is off the floor, so don't pressure it all the way down. Keep it off the floor. Contract here. One more breath. And lift up straight. Grab the outside of the left foot with the right hand. Tip back and plant your left hand onto the floor. Then lift and open here. You can bend the elbow as well. Inhale and exhale as if you're leaning into your back. Perhaps you might want to tempt this or 
not lift up and lower down seated hero pose lift your right foot off the floor take the eagle bind this time with the right arm around the left and press your hands into your third eye arch up and press down both actions together Exhale, contract slowly, anchor your right sit bone into the floor. Open your palms to face up and press your elbows into your belly. Breathe here. Let go of the bind. Open the arms. Lift the right sit bone off the floor. Left hand onto the floor. Lift your pelvic floor. Tip forward. Grab the left shoulder with the right hand and gaze at your left hand. Open the heart a little more. Twist deeper. Lower down onto your side. Extend the right leg forward. Hug it with your right arm. And then bring the hands together into prayer. Flex both feet. Draw them together like a Ganesh pose here. And then lift the gaze up. You have two breaths with the gaze lifted up. Inhale. And then two breaths with your forehead moving into the knee. Exhale. Ground the right foot down. Then grab the heel. Lift up. Bend your elbow and your knee. Gaze forward. As you step your right foot forward, lift your hips off the floor. Come into the lunge, deepening the breath and finding the other side. Open up. Take the tunnel bind, this time right into left. Drop down. Press into your thymus gland into your chin to open the thymus gland. Deepen the breath. Lengthen your spine. Anchor your back heel down. Lift up. Warrior one with the spine. One more breath. Open it. Take a hug. Heel toe the back foot slightly in. Take your triangle. Reaching the left hand to the right pocket, right hand to the left. Press into the right kidney and bend over. Eventually, the elbow will point down. Right? Or just stay here. Breathe in and out. Gently lift up. Step your back foot to the front heel. Go into this baby triangle. Baby triangle. Lift the heart. Relax the right shoulder. Lower down, left hand down, gaze at your mat. Dropping here first, left knee down, untuck the back foot. Walk it into this forward bend. Left sit bone into the left heel, flex the right foot. Breathe shoulders down. 
Inhale. With your left hand, reach and yogic toe lock the big right toe, wrapping the fingers around, and then just bring the elbow in. And switch to open the other meridian, really bring it in. Inhale and exhale. We're tipping to the right. Make room. Open the shin out. Find it here. A little lean over. One more spacious breath. Inhale. Relax your head. Exhale. With the contraction, draw the right knee in. Place the right foot especially the outside edge on top of the left thigh. And twist here. Grab the deltoid and hold it. Twisting, feeling how your right hand is counterposing the right knee. Gaze over your right shoulder. And wrap the arms. Exhale, contract right in the middle. And inhale. Lower the foot down. Flip the hand open. Lift the left sit bone off the floor. Press the left hand into the third eye and arch it back. And then exhale, point your fingertips down to your left knee and reroot your sit bone all the way. And one more breath. Deep and open your arms. Lift up, press the right hand down, lift the hips, push them up, and then grab onto the right shoulder with your left hand. Gaze at your right hand. Lift a little higher through your mid-back. And deepen. Lower down. Grab on to the outside edge of your right foot with the left hand. Tip back and open here. You can choose to bend the elbow and the knee or to work on straightening both or just the elbow. Open more. And lower down. Exhale, contract the knee into your chest. And grab the heel. Inhale, point your right fingertips down, your left hip, and knee and toes up. And gaze over your right shoulder. And step the foot forward, lift over your right heel, walk your hands. And this time we'll just do the beginning on the other side, lifting your right leg up and lowering your left elbow down. Gaze at your right heel and now exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Stay contracted, extend your leg to the side. 
flex the right foot and loop your arm through and under the armpit into the opposite shoulder. Breathe and twist. And one more. Now lift off your left wrist. Bring the hand a little closer so the shoulder tracks over the wrist. And open here. Four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Keep on anchoring and extending through the middle finger. That's three. And four. Walk the right foot forward. Step the left foot to the right. Now come into a little egg shape. Lift your heels up. Hug your elbows in. Hold it really tight. Lower down. Drop the hips first. All the way down. Gently, one vertebra at a time. Hug the elbows, lift up, hold it here. We're not going to attempt the plow, just staying here. Inhale and exhale. And then push your heels up to make an imprint into the sky. Press your palms up. Feel that energy and then take a hug. Crossing the right elbow over the left. The right knee over the left. Take a twist. Now extending the clasp to the opposite elbows. Deep in the breath. And gently come back up. Hook your palms. Lift up and now press your thumbs into your thymus. Your hands open up into two wings and lower it down. Switch other side. Take the hug. Left leg. Continue into your twist, reclining twist, shoulders down, elbows clasped. Close the eyes. One more breath. Come back to the center. Reach up. And then gently bend the elbows, bend the knees, lift your hips. The feet are parallel. Bring your hands to your sternum and press your thumbs right into that point where we activate it at the beginning of class. Exhale, press the hands firmly into the chest. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, press. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, keep your knees bent as you open your arms and close your eyes for a brief relaxation. Allowing your extremities to melt away all the tension in your body. Focus on your joints and release and rinse off the tension from your wrists and ankles, from your knees and elbows, from your hips and shoulders. Relax your head. Relax the lower back. Relax the front body, your chest. Feel the connection with the earth, her unwavering support, and helping you fend off 
from harmful bacteria. Just like the earth functions in a preordained and synchronized way, so does your body, igniting the self-regulating mechanism to facilitate an even flow through all the organs, systems, glands, stimulating all the functions. Inhale through your palms, ground your feet, expand outwards, and as you exhale, open your eyes, reach your arms over the head, press the palms into the floor, lift your head, chin to chest, Load up to a seated position and close the circle of your immunity, crisscrossing the other arm and pressing your thumbs into your sternum. Gaze at your body, gaze at your heart. Feel the connection and the sinking up of all the cells that have teamed up together to facilitate and restore the flow. Open your eyes. Bring the hands into prayer and then lift the prayer up into a chalice and back into the heart. Well done. This is a preventive routine to help you build a stronger immunity. If you liked it, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Yogaya Yoga, or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Or you can check our website out. Thank you for this practice. Namaste.